What's up, Simonix? Today is review time. You've submitted a few apps, actually, I think five or six on the different channels that I want to review. I don't know if we will get to all of them, but we will see. Even if your app is not drawn today or if you haven't submitted any app to this review, I think you can all still learn from this because there are always elements in applications that basically all applications share and if you see me criticize some aspects of those elements, of those apps, I think you can also learn for your own application. Watch out for the review of these hopefully great apps. I actually haven't taken a look at them, so I'm pretty excited to see what you've submitted. So let's do this. All right, here we go with app number one called Yulda. So I'll for now check out the apps on iOS and then I will also do Android later. For now, let's see. Um, we got a nice login screen and the first thing that I notice is I would do this fixed because if you pull it and it looks like this, I wouldn't do it. Also, yeah, if you can scroll it down, uh, something that would be cool is like an animation where the header or the image gets bigger and then gets back to you and I think Yelp has this and other apps as well. Whatever, I will just sign up. It looks like some kind of travel, so find a ride from from where I live, please. So locate me, okay, to Berlin. I guess there won't be any... Uh, that's kind of nice. So that was a nice drop down, I uh, hope you could see this. Um, of course, I can't scroll it, but that's fine. So date as well, looking good. And then let's go for a search. Cool animation. Of course, no rights were found. Uh, here we see already there's a problematic um, issue. It looks like when the address is too long, the labels overlap. Okay, here I can filter it. Uh, still, there's this. I don't know what this effect is, if I can, I'm basically dropping this up now and then this white area comes up, so that's really a bit strange, I don't know what's going on there. In general, the app has a tab bar, um, which has basically two times the same icon, I don't really like that in terms of the iconology, I don't know how to, uh, what's the name for that. So, of course, I drag the error message in a way and I don't see what's upcoming. Of course, I have no reservation and that's me. I'm a driver. I can somehow chat with person. So in general, it looks like you can um, search for a right brand expert group or whatever. Uzbekistan, perhaps? I don't know, maybe. Also, uh, I don't know if you can actually see this, but this is the link to the chat, so that's kind of hidden. Um, I can scroll all the pages and the header is still green, while this is normally a... Um, a more bluish black round, I would say, so this is definitely something I don't really like to have the icon in that color just at there. Um, just keep it green if you want to have the green bar overall, so make it green here as well, then it looks also good. Otherwise, I really like the inputs. Um, I actually also like the font. Um, here and there, there could be more padding, so for example, here for the upcoming rides, uh, in here is actually padding, so that should be applied to other views. Um, I like that there's always a message on these empty screens, that's really important to have because otherwise your users are basically lost. In general, um, perhaps I didn't just not, um, I don't know about this language, I would like to have like a little introduction, so what's going on in this application. Right now I can search, I won't find anything, of course Germany is not the market of this app, I'm pretty sure, but some kind of introduction to the app would be great, perhaps a bit of information on this screen, and also fixing this scrolling stuff that is going on in this application, because that would really annoy me. In general, everything seems to uh, work quite far. Screens like these are always good, um, they're clean, everything is easy to find. Just fix a few of the basic things, um, work a bit on the UI in here and make things more accessible and easy to access, but I'm sure then the app perhaps will be uh, successful. Mm. Okay, lunchbox take number two. I actually did this and had paused the video, now it is running. So let's go back into Lunchbox. Um, I said that the loading time of Lunchbox is pretty long. Um, make sure that you don't have to um, do all the operations in your constructors or in the different pages because that can really slow down your application. So um, try to keep them in different uh, lifecycle elements of the view so you're not blocking 
uh, the first load of the app. Besides that, the first view is really, I'm, I'm so hungry, I'm still hungry, and now I have to do this the second time. Oh, Jesus. Ah, um, really great job of making those items pretty big so users get really hungry and they can actually really good see the food that they're gonna uh, order. I guess that's a food ordering app. In this view, I like the separators in here but I don't like how the items are presented so I don't really feel an urge to click on them but they are meant to be clicked so um, I don't know why but um, I just don't don't see this list as something I want to click on uh, and that's always something you have to remember that the thing the user should do should be easy visible for him and immediately uh, without question they should know okay what's what I have to do in this screen um, there's a little misalignment here as you can see I always notice this and also again at the bottom this seems to be a button but um, it's not really visible as a button so keep your colors across the application straight have a primary color perhaps a secondary a warning and danger color and success and really use them for the elements that the user should immediately click or perhaps not click. That's really important, I think, and makes the life for a lot of users easier. Um, in this view, we see that the icon here was scaled up, so don't use small images and just scale them up. Um, take the 10 minutes or whatever it requires to make an appropriate icon, because otherwise the app looks pretty good, um, but this icon is really blurry and doesn't look good. Also, suddenly um, we have a black arrow, um, I think we had black in here a bit as well, but I would like to keep this in red and white uh, if I would be the creator. This screen again is cool, uh, we see the lunchbox animation coming up, so nice small animations can really make a huge difference. So overall this app is really good. Uh, okay, yeah, and here we see that the corners or the borders are cut. Um, I would actually make a sliding box like this always to the end of the view so it looks like they're coming in from out of the view and not from behind the box or something. So that's something I would always take care of. Otherwise that's really good. That's a nice slider here with all the dinners. Perhaps I would make it sticky once you scroll up. Uh, I don't know if this makes sense in the application. Uh, and also there's no scroll to go back. but. In general, the app looks pretty good. Um, I hope you're successful with the app. It doesn't have that much ratings here on iOS, perhaps more on Android. And I, again, um, I'm, I'm so hungry when I when I see these images. Please leave a comment and let me know in which country you, you're living. I Really, I need this. Seriously. All right, one more app. Um, this one's called Position Tracking and is only available somehow on Android. Um, it has a lot of reviews, so I'm really excited to see what's going on and Yeah, the first thing I noticed is that there's a cool animation right in here uh, I don't know why in the search field the elements are direct to the right side or perhaps the center But it uh, doesn't feel like the center and it's also using ads. Um, okay, never mind um, Here we see the fab button actually in general a cool usage, but it looks a bit so I'm, get, I'm getting distracted by the background image. Um, I know the intention of this and it also looks cool with the icons, but it's, it's I don't know, it's not yet there, I would say. It's not 100% perfect. But it looks like I can add my package delivery service, like in Germany we mostly have DHL. Um, I don't know what number this is or why I can enter it. Um, perhaps that's a recent number, no, that can't be going, I don't know. but. Um, the view disappeared. I don't know what's going on. Can you please leave again? So the icons are really cool. I really like that shadow. Um, perhaps it's a bit blurry here. That's because the phone is scaled up. Um, but in the app it looks really great. Um, and I also like how the view looks in general. So let's try to trick this number, whatever this number is. And yeah, another... Uh, yeah. No, thanks. Um, Jesus, I'm really bad at Android. It looks like this was uh, something you should test and I really enjoyed both uh, the idea of just adding this number and then seeing how the app works and also the animation we saw in the background. Um, looks like there's a lot going on with that shipment. I, I really don't know what that shipment is, but it's not mine. And here as well we see a little blinking green icon. 
um, this timeline is pretty uh, impressive and cool. So perhaps if you're watching this video, let me know how you build that timeline. I really enjoy this. Um, I don't know. No, I don't want to find any files. I guess I can share it. Yeah. And it looks like I can now simply add all my services and track their uh, packages. Also, sidebar, pretty cool, all important information in here. In terms of UI, I would say this is one of the, the best apps. Pretty clear, good icon usage. Um, yeah, that is, this is, um, they get five stars for a reason. Um, cool idea to have like the latest updates right here in the discussion. But what I notice is actually your logo or whatever icon is not working. So besides that, you're, you're doing really good job with all the icons and all this stuff in here, but that didn't really work out so far. Anyway, um, I really enjoy this app. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Maybe I will also use it for one of my next deliveries. So go ahead, check out position tracking on the Android store, not yet on iOS. Um, maybe you could do this as well. All right, so these were not all of the apps, but we couldn't uh, fit in more into the time. I'm sorry for the other ones. Perhaps we can do this in the next month in another review time. And then also look at them. Just two more things. One, um, I started this new idea simply because I would like to get review or feedback on some of my apps or applications in general that I developed. And I know for solo developers or in general sometimes developers, it's hard to get feedback. I wanted to give you a platform to get some nice exposure of your application and a little feedback on what you've done. Perhaps you've enjoyed this, let me know below the video. If you enjoyed the video, of course, give it a like. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a comment and then give a like. Of course, you know the game. So all of the three apps we've seen look kind of good. Um, for some, you could really see that they were Ionic apps. They had problems with the scroll view, the first one. Um, the third and the second one had really great UI. Sometimes it's not really clear what the user should do. So maybe a little introduction can help. Having animations can definitely help. And in general, having a great UI sometimes speaks for itself and also disguises that this is actually um, a hybrid or cross-platform app. So uh, for the for the package tracking app, you couldn't really see it. They had great icons, they had great colors, um, they had great styling in general. So I really enjoyed that application. Let me know if you want to see more of this, then we can make this a regular meeting every once, uh, every month and you can leave your applications below my videos and I will just bundle them and see what I can review in the next review. Of course, if you didn't submit anything, I hope you still learned something from the tiny elements that you can extract from different applications. Sometimes you just need to look at your app from a different angle. If you work on it for weeks and months, it becomes hard to see the problems that new users might have with your application. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends about it. We still need to reach 100k. The Simonix community, please really need to step the game a bit up. Uh, if PewDiePie can get to 100 million, I'm sure we can get to 100k, right? Enjoy your week, build some great apps, watch out for the small details, and then I will meet you next week. So happy coding, Simon.